Okay, I feel like this video is going to be kind of a mess, but it's good. Hi, today a very short video just to give you a heads up for next year for my YouTube channel, so what I plan to do and also to wish you happy holidays and if you celebrate it, a Merry Christmas and of course a Happy New Year. So last year was quite fantastic for me, artistically speaking. I talk about this a lot more in more details in my latest art and life update video. You might want to check that out as well. I'm going to link that down below. And so artistically speaking, it was great. I've really evolved as an artist and I'm on a path that I enjoy and like and that is coherent. However, I've been very harsh on myself and so my YouTube channel uh, was not coherent with my artistic research, so I kind of stopped making videos for YouTube. But now I'm coming to my senses again. I'm stopping to be completely delusional and I'm thinking about ways of earning money in a more sustainable way and YouTube is one of the things I want to work more on. So next year I'm going to keep two days per week to make work that is not especially coherent with my artistic research but that are going to be focused only on bringing money in to support my artistic research. And those two days are going to be used to make video content for YouTube and also tutorials for my Skillshare class and also probably tutorials for my own website. And, because I almost forgot that, for print-on-demand shops like Society6 and Redbubble. So that's kind of the overall goal for next year, so two days per week. Uh, we'll see how it goes, if two days is enough, if it's too much. Um, it's not like something that is very fixed, but like, so I have in my mind like Monday and Tuesday I'm going to work on content and stuff like that. And that way try to earn some sustainability financially. And the rest of the days, so typically at least three, but I know myself it's going to be five. Uh, where well, I'm going to work on my sculpture and my artworks and as usual pitching my artwork to art galleries and trying to get featured in exhibitions, magazines, etc. and like um, working towards that specific goal. So that's kind of the plan. I also really want to revive my Patreon account which is very um, I mean, it's, it's, it's better than nothing, <laughs> but it's, it's really not a lot of money. And I feel like it's kind of my fault because I don't give enough uh, back. But now that I have started watercoloring a lot more, I might actually be able to send out prints for a higher pledge. So that might be an option. I really don't want to offer tutorials on Patreon because I feel like this is going to be too much and I don't want to stretch myself out too thinly so that's kind of I think that is going to be the main struggle for me is to not exhaust myself and not to overwork which I have the tendency to do and I think most artists do that because they are like very passionate about what they're doing and they also try to make a living from it so it's like a very subtle subtle balance to find which I hope I will find <laughs> So that's pretty much it. A very short video, just like what you can expect next year. I've already asked in my last video what you want to see me doing. A lot of you requested to do miniature food and cute things and also fan art. So I'm going to be very honest with you. I'm not going to do fan art. I think that's, that's not something I am interested in. Um, legally speaking, it's kind of a difficult situation anyway, you cannot really do that. Um, and I find it extremely boring <laughs> uh, because it's just copying a style that is not your own, so I don't really see the point in that. However, some other suggestions might be something I might do. I probably am going to consider doing some miniature food here and there. And what I personally plan on doing more is sharing my creative life a little bit more and maybe do some insights on um, how to make a living as an artist and probably also I really would like to do chatting while creating type of videos. I've seen a few of that from other artists and I've, I find them really enjoyable because you can create 
yourself something and then someone is talking to you kind of thing. I don't know I find it very enjoyable so I might try that but we'll see and depending on the response I get from you guys I might just and then stop certain videos and certain content and make more of others so it's going to be uh, an exciting year for my YouTube channel I think um, it cannot get much worse than it is right now. I probably have lost already a lot of subscribers because I've changed and I, I don't do just miniature food anymore and I know a lot of subscribers came for that and I'm sorry but you know people evolve. Um, I think that's all I had to say so um, thank you so much for watching. If you like this short video for some reason give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe and I will see you next year. Bye! My cats are playing really hard tonight. Of course, now that I'm not recording anymore, they're all calm and are sleeping it off. This is Puss. She's the oldest and she's old and very, very sick, but I love her deeply. Oh my god! And this is Plume. She has messy hair. Like all the others, we got her at the cat shelter. She's really sweet, however, I would not encourage anyone to get a Persian cat because the hair is just such a mess. But she's really kind. I think she's really happy to be with us. I don't say that in an arrogant kind of way, but she she had a tough life before, so yeah. Now she's happy. I'm happy. And this is Roger the cat. Roger's the sweetest of them all. He's so kind. He's very, very kind. But he plays really hard. I, he's very kind to our cats and to all humans. However, it's quite the brute outside. Uncle.